Hey, good evening, Dr. Shelke. This is my submission for the sixth Arduino assignment for the voltage readout and the blinking light based off the voltage readout. Um, I am out of town right now, so I use Tinkercad. Um, I didn't want to bring my Arduino kit on vacation, so Tinkercad had everything that I needed. Um, here's my code, have all the variables set up. Um, this is all built in printing out the voltage here. Um, and I got that from your video, but I just um, messaged it out so it didn't print that voltage of a given source. Um, here's my circuit, kind of a voltage divider um, ish. Um, this voltage divider will not work for 9 volts. Um, or anything over five. I have to keep it under five if it was a physical Arduino, or else it would blow up the um, the Arduino. Um, so right now I have it set at 3.6 volts. The light's blinking one second on, one second off, and it's printing 3.6 volts. If I go down just a touch, That's going to be just below 2.5. I can get it here. There it is. So there's quarter second on, quarter second off at 1.8 volts, printing 1.8 volts. Um, and then if I pop it up to 4 volts or just over 4 volts, or just on, Printing 4.2, reading 4.2, and then at 1.3 or under, printing 1.2, reading 1.2, light off. So to read anything over the 5 volts, um, I would have to set up a better example of a voltage divider. Um, this is just a 2 resistor easy one. Um, and preferably with the voltage divider, putting it in line with the pin going into the Arduino with a diode, five, five volt diode, um, Zener diode. So I could not, there would be no possible way to flow the over five volts into the Arduino. I think that would be the safest way to do this same program. Um, so yeah, sorry for using Tinkercad, but it works the same way. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.